Why do people start having to hold a menu further away from them to read it, or start losing spots of their vision as they get older? I'll break down how our vision changes as we get older, how different eye conditions specifically impact your vision, and what to do about all of this. There are thankfully some simple things you can do to keep your vision clear even as you become a silver fox or a golden girl. Lots of people develop new vision problems between ages 40 and 50. One of the main culprits we're about to talk about is the reason why so many people need reading glasses as they get older, and that sneaky little devil is called presbyopia. That's where the lens in your eye gets hard and stiff as you get older. Normally, the lens in your eye can change its shape, helping shift your focus from things further away from you to things up close. I'm doing a deep dive into presbyopia here because it's such a big factor as to why our vision changes as we get some more gray hairs. And to do that, I'm gonna use this laser demo. Let's say that ideally, your eye is supposed to take in light coming in and focus that down into a spot on your retina. That's what will give you clear vision. Presbyopia results in that light not being focused enough because your eye can't change shape for things up close. So because of that, it doesn't bend the light enough and it doesn't quite come to a point of focus by the time it reaches your retina. So that dot is spread out into a larger circle and your vision becomes more blurry. Reading glasses are added in front of your eyes to move up that point of focus. This lens I have is actually too strong. You see it's moving up the light to inside of the eye. But if I had a proper pair of reading glasses, not as strong as this lens, it would move up that point of focus right onto the retina where it should be so that you can see clearly. So if you find yourself struggling to read things up close, you might have presbyopia, and your eye doctor can help you out with that by hooking you up with some new glasses or contacts. For example, you could get progressive lenses, they come in either glasses or contacts, where the bottom of it is stronger than the rest of the lens. That allows the bottom part to magnify what's up close and be better for reading. And looking through the higher parts of the lens is better for seeing things that are further away from you. All right, presbyopia is a big cause of why we lose our vision as we get older, but there are lots of other things trying to steal your sight away. You're especially prone to vision changes if you have another chronic health condition like diabetes or high blood pressure. And also if you have a family history of eye diseases like glaucoma or macular degeneration. As you get older, the tear glands in your eyes start producing less tears. This is especially true for women going through hormonal changes. While you might be thinking, cool, I guess I just won't be crying as much at commercials of sad puppies, in reality, your eyes could end up being dry and irritated. Tears are good. Having enough tears is essential for maintaining clear vision and healthy eyes. Fluctuations in your vision, like sometimes seeing things blurrier and then not as blurry and back again, could be a sign of other serious conditions like hypertension or diabetes. So if you notice vision fluctuations like that, set up an appointment with your doctor to see if something else is going on that you need to get in front of. Those fluctuations can actually be really helpful if they let you catch another serious condition early. Tunnel vision, or losing your peripheral vision, might be a sign of glaucoma. And that's where the optic nerve connecting your eyes to your smart old brain is damaged and no longer transmits all the visual information to your brain. It usually has no symptoms until the damage to your vision has started. But if you start noticing this, go see your eye doctor right away to have a much better chance at slowing down the progression of glaucoma. Seeing things get distorted, where straight lines get all wavy, or an empty space in the center of your vision could be signs of age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. This is a disease that affects the macula, which is the high-resolution part of your retina responsible for the center of what you see. It can cause a blind spot in the middle of your vision. Regular eye exams and early diagnosis and treatment of this are very important for getting a handle on AMD. People in their 50s are also a lot more prone to dry eye syndrome. You might notice your eyes burning or stinging because of that. Over-the-counter eye drops can be great for dry eyes, and your eye doctor might have some extra tricks for you to try too. Now, everything we just talked about was super scary, but what can you actually do about any of this? Can you prevent the slow decay of time? There are, thankfully, a few things you can do, and to me, it's really surprising how simple these things are. You already heard me say a million times, it's very important to see your eye doctor regularly. That lets you catch a lot of these conditions early, before they snowball and are a lot harder to deal with. Besides becoming good friends with your eye doc, wearing UV-blocking sunglasses when you're outside is a great way to prevent that UV light from damaging your retinas. Next tip, don't smoke cigarettes. 
It dramatically increases your risk for cataracts where the lenses in your eyes get cloudy and AMD. Eating lots of veggies is great for getting vitamins like zinc and vitamins A, C, and E that keep your eyes healthier. Foods with a lot of omega-3 fatty acids like salmon and flax seeds are also great for your eye health. And depending on what you're dealing with, your eye doctor might recommend some more intense methods of dealing with these different conditions. This could include laser eye surgery, replacing your cloudy cataracts lenses with new artificial lenses, or other procedures tailored for what you're specifically going through. I have lots of other videos going into more detail on the different conditions we just talked about and some of the different treatment methods, so if you're interested in that, I'll add some links to those down in the description. Also, please let me know down in the comments if there are any specific eye-related topics you'd like me to talk about. Thanks!